What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at 10 ways to stop windows from spying on you and i did say windows because it's not just windows 10 it also now has been rolled out for windows 8.1 windows 8 windows 7 and windows vista so you will be having data collected on those operating systems as well just in case you didn't know that but if you did want to do it a simple way then these 10 programs that i'm going to be showing you will do this uh, for you with uh, great ease I mean it makes life a lot easier I have made videos on the manual way of doing things and it become quite uh, be quite in depth and uh, this is going to be a real easy way of doing it first off let me just say though I take no responsibility if you mess your PC up and it crashes and you lose your data that's all entirely up to yourself you do these use these programs at your own risk okay I've not tested all of these programs I'm just going to show you them okay so I know some of them like this one as open candy in there so you've got to be very careful when installing it some of them are portable which are fine but some uh, like this I will try and notify all these on my forums with links and uh, descriptions there for you okay guys so anyway let's go through these and uh, we're going to take a quick look at the first one We'll say yes to this and the first one's called Windows Privacy Tweaker version 1.2 it's a new one that's doing the rounds and as you can see here it's got a simple uh, green and red yes green is good and red is bad that means it's not safe it means it's sending data back the commands here which I like about this one has got a restore feature which allows you to restore uh, all your settings back to defaults if you wish to do so that's a nice feature and loads of other bits and pieces here I'm not going to spend too much time on them because I've got quite a lot to get through. If you want me to do a single review on any one of these programs, then let me know in the comment section below or on the forums, and I'll do my best to make a single video on one of these programs. Okay. So let's take a look here. How does it work? Well, basically, all you do is you go through here, see the red ones, and decide what you want to uh, disable. Let me just stretch this open so you can see. And as you can see here, uh, we've got sensor service and you see me cover this in my previous videos but on this one you don't have to worry too much you just remove this and it's disabled that's as simple as that it's a really simple feature on this uh, program uh, task shed uh, scheduler you've got here you can mess around with these if you wish registry telemetry function and so on you've got the uncheck all and check all and also USB security here okay so let me just close that off and take a look at a uh, another program going to move on to the next one so the next one is uh, w10 privacy uh, I like the bit where when you first open the program it gives you the create a restore point feature I like that that means if anything goes wrong you can always restore the system back I'm gonna say no here just to show you what this one does um, as you can see here I like these little text bubbles that give you all the information here I like that it gives you as much information as possible about what it does and you can see here Cortana uh, speech recognition and so on this is to do with Cortana it lets you know all that and that's a really useful feature and all you need to do here is you can see here recommended setting nearly no side effects uh, conditionally recommended and so on uh, restricted recommended and you just go through here and there's a lot of tweaking to be done with this program as you can see here uh, privacy telemetry search network explorer services if you don't want to get that in depth then there is other programs that are a little bit more lighter that aren't quite as uh, in depth as this one but if you do want to dig right in you can use this program it's pretty good for that so as you can see here and it's the same as before you just put the ticks in and take the ticks out and then set the changes here okay so let me just shut this one off and move on to the next one now a shampoo is another good program let me just uh, run anyway but I do like the fact that it asked you to create a restore point which is another good uh, points uh, thing for this and also it's got a restore feature on this one as well so it's got both you've got the uh, uh, you can restore it back as well as uh, making a restore point which I like that as a lot you can see the actions drop down here set all recommended settings set defaults as you can see here default settings and deselect all settings and so on and this has got your little 
type uh, slider buttons here where you can just slide them on and off just a little bit like uh, Windows 10 itself a nice little uh, graphic user interface here and again you can see which ones you want to do you can just uh, turn these on and turn them off there is no information on this which is a bit of a, a downfall when you hover over it, it doesn't tell you what it does so you'd have to know a little bit you can google it but in general you'd have to know a little bit more as you can see here um, pretty much uh, the list is pretty good it does all the usual stuff sensors and so on this will be more down to the fact that it's going to do all your regular stuff okay so it's not as in-depth as the other one but it's got all your microphone and other stuff on there so that's uh, that one so let's move on to the next one now this is a spybot uh, spybot uh, was made by Spy, spybot search and destroy but this one's called spybot anti-beacon uh, we're just going to quickly go through this this is a portable one so we're going to quickly install this onto a little folder there as you can see I do like this one quite a bit uh, this one's quite a popular one and as you can see here protection you go through here not blocked yet it just it's pretty straightforward and tells you and uh, you can uh, immunize basically by just clicking on these and immunizing them uh, the way you want to do that as you can see here you've got two percent protection so far and you can go through here and apply these um, areas here if you want to do that if you want to use this method I do like this uh, program quite a lot gives you details as well uh, to look at the actual details of what you're doing which is really nice shows you the registry and stuff where it's actually um, where it's going to be actually making changes so I'm just going to quickly go through this the log and also facts to ask questions you can go through this and read this uh, in your own leisure really uh, but pretty much a, a decent little program and does a really good job uh, at, at blocking those for you so you've got the options here as you can see it shows you the options you can go through it this way if you wish and so you can see what you're actually doing and then you just immunize all those put your ticks in immunize and it will do those for you so that's that one okay so we've got this one next uh, this is O O or O and O and O it's called shut up 10 so we're just gonna fire this up I'm gonna say yes to this and as you can see here we have um, got some same uh, as the other one really radio buttons or not radio buttons but more slidey buttons really uh, where, where you could just turn these on and off and you got the little ticks here to let you know what you're doing uh, file here import settings and export settings a nice little feature there and also you got your actions apply all recommended settings you got a reply apply all recommended and limit uh, recommended settings and just apply all settings there's a red exclamation mark there so you may want to take a bit of care in which ones you select here you can undo all your changes and put it back to factory settings and you can also create a restore point which is highly recommended you've got a help uh, folder here which gives you the help guide and you can see here it's just as simple as going through here and clicking on this and it will give you the information what it's going to do and then click OK and away you go and uh, I think that's that one covered we're just going to leave that one as is and move on to the next one so the next one is this one I'm going to run this as administrator now some of these have got unknown publishers um, because it's a uh, people that are created them uh, general people not big companies like uh, spybot and uh, as shampoo and so on but uh, you see here this one's pretty uh, basic and straightforward you just put the ticks in now but as you can see here pretty much uh, you would just put a tick in this and away you go push go and this will do those and you can revert as well uh, but pretty much it is what it is you just push go and it will block these ones as you can see and you can also reinstall original apps and also uninstall selected apps if you wish as well but pretty uh, simple uh, simple little program but that gets the job done let's move on to this next one
This one's an installed, uh, an install type program, and this one does come with Open Candy, uh, so you may want to be careful if you're going to use this one. I will notify you which ones these are. So what you're going to need to do is go next, and you need to see here on the license in here, Open Candy End User License Agreement. Okay, so you may need to agree to this before you go forward I don't think it will let you go forward if you don't agree to it so you're gonna to have to agree to it and then just be careful what you're actually accepting okay so I'm just gonna try and spot it here so I don't end up with um, spyware on the system so go next here next it doesn't look oh there we go this is the one so you don't want to accept that at all and we want to go next and also here we don't want to install this one so this is what's classed as open candy adware really basically um, so we don't want to and we don't want to install that browser so that's what you want to do there just to go next and install and it won't install any of that uh, ads but you can pay for the actual program donate and it will take those out for you and give you the right version without the adverts on so now when we start this up it asks does you want to uh, create a restore point and pretty much it's the same thing really I'm not going to spend too much time but you just put your ticks in check all one check all apply discard and so on and exit pretty straightforward but it gets the job done you can choose which one you like best I've opened that twice by the looks of it um, this is the next one I'm going to go for And as you can see here, this one, uh, you just there's a new version here to download. I'm not going to click on that. You should download the new version. And this one's called Destroy Windows 10 Spying. This is a very popular one at the moment. And all you need to do is click on this and it will destroy it and delete everything on there. There, I don't think there's, there's any sort of backup or anything like that which allows you to... Uh, back up your settings and go back I don't think there is that feature let's have a look just to make sure as you can see here this does give you some extra options like open the host file which allows you to put a um, load of IPs in there if you wish to do that that supposedly blocks them from uh, accessing and stuff like that you've also got disable uh, office 2016 telemetry restore system so there is a restore so I do apologize there so there is a restore system and also delete one drive and so on so this does look quite handy actually and it looks pretty good uh, as I can see here you've got your donate button here and there's also a readme file and a license here so basically a pretty decent uh, program there I wanted to show you this one this is another one that I stumbled across which is basically called Windows uh, 10 privacy and shit dot bat and it's a bat file which I do love bat files as you well know and you can see here you're just going to run this and it's going to remove a lot of stuff here the downfall with these are you don't have no control over uh, what's being deleted and what can be restored so bear that in mind guys something could go wrong and you could render your system uh, unbootable or something like that if something goes wrong because these things are very powerful indeed uh, but as you can see here pretty much um, uh, it's a bat file basically and it will do everything for you you just run run it I'm not going to run it because it will do all these for you so there, there you go I've looked right through it there doesn't seem to be anything malicious in there it's just going to be doing some basic stuff that the other ones do and disable everything for you so they're the actual programs that you can use to stop Windows from spying on you. hope this uh, helps you out, guys. I hope you like that array of programs. You can pick which ones you like. Uh, remember to use them carefully. They are very powerful tools, and you will do so at your own risk. If you run any of these programs and something goes wrong, it's all at your own risk. Remember, back up and make restore points before you do any of this sort of stuff. Okay, and maybe make a backup of your system as well, just in case. Okay, so anyway, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit that like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers or you want to see a more in-depth 
um, program review or something in action maybe give the program a bit more of a thorough run and see it working then let me know in the comments section below and I shall see you again in the next video if you haven't head over to my Facebook fan page yet maybe head over there and give us a little like up over there as well it doesn't cost you a penny and I shall see you again in the next video have a great weekend guys bye for now